dance of dark snow rising from fruit, drift of drosophila mist, lover of the firmament, fermenting infirm fruit. Softly drill small holes, hide tiny eggs, babies born in sweet apple river to briefly drift above the tawny bruise. Change over. Five floors up, the days our fingers almost touch stack on top of one another like clean sheets on a trolley or dirty plates on a tray. The window is open two full inches, sweet city breath nudges the voile curtains, sirens ascend like citrus from under the tongue. A fruit fly finds a sticky plate where the warm pink flesh of leftover melon will become nursery for its eggs. Heads down, you and I work. I think I can hear its tubular lips on the porcelain, or the clink of its pitted pewter wings, this one and only witness to the things that pass between us, Somalian biologist and poet from Iran, in this vacant space, a hotel room in between guests. That red-eyed fruit fly sees us a thousand times at once. Across the bed from one another, you and I move through the phases as one another's mirror self. Our hands must first undo, loosen the edge of yesterday's made bed. My arms, turning spindle, strip the dirty sheet away. You unfold the white new, holding it by all four corners above the bare mattress. I must take hold of the fabric and align myself with you, white-eyed anomaly, my polar opposite, stained green by desire. Taking two steps back, we pull the cotton flat and a pristine polar land stretches between us. Then we move forward, force it to collapse until a white canyon separates our bodies. We go on, nails nearly knocking, stopping, coming apart, knowing we will never give in to the urge to topple backwards off the edge or to dive headlong or to squash the fly beneath a thumb. We lift the sheet up and let it fall. Our breath settles. With our fingers and palms we tuck and pat and smooth. We form a new replica of yesterday. Five floors up, within these cells we contract in unspoken rhythm. We perform in empty time to our audience, the fly. Our love. Perpetual embryo flat white space, empty waiting nucleus, tomorrow's unmade bed. Ship of Life by Suzanne von Engelhardt and Amara Tariq. The embryo, a universe of fibers floating like stars, fibers whizzing, exploring, capturing. Two poles attract and align into a ship, holding the encoding of life. One spaceship among many, asserting its place in space, attracting, repelling, synchronizing. synchronizing. Crucial is the alignment, for if the delicate balance slips, a glitch which can mean the difference between health and illness. The ship's poles load, tearing chromosomes asunder. This time, no blunder. The spacemen bearing the code board their capsules. The capsules disengage to float like stars, whizzing, exploring, exploring, capturing across across the the universe. universe.